Fucking sitting in a chair and playing everyone back to back to back. Spark won the set uh, over KFAT. And here is Queso. Queso is here with the next rat in line. So many Pikas. I imagine uh, when, when Sextasy sits down to play Spark, we will probably end up seeing a Fox Ditto. If I had to guess. But for now, it's another rat. And Spark has been playing against the rats back to back to back. We'll see if the uh, if the foretold game plan comes through again in this match. Uh, now that that is a like you know kind of a learned method of play from the previous set, uh, or if it was specifically kind of designed to counter what Kpow was doing, and maybe Spark is something different to deal with Queso, who's a bit more of an experienced player, somebody who's been around the scene for a while. I met him here at SmashCon last year. Uh, I know he, he loves this game. But he's, uh, definitely part of the community. We'll have a more developed rat than uh, than we saw from KVAT. Oh, going for the forward smash call out. Spark able to find the jab up smash there. Keso is not happy about that one. <laughs> okay, 2007 combo coming out from Spark again. Actually getting big damage off of this, 66%. Queso just getting chuckled through the air. Oh, they both just held the shield there. There was a, a moment of uh, both of them wanted to decide who was going to act first. Look, Spark, uh, once again, using the walk to kind of position himself. It's such a simple way to move around. Oh, and the fourth smash, such a big meaty move from Pikachu. Just covering Fox's get up. I think that was a normal get up from Spark, uh, actually, unless I saw it wrong. So it could be that Spark isn't aware of the fact that in this game, you can just buffer shield off of a normal get up and you will not have any vulnerability. Issues. Okay, so catching the up B. And Fox, I don't think he has a jump. Oh, he did. Must have landed before that up smash. Fox's up B is really weird uh, in terms of how he lands and when he gets his jump back. If you up B into the ground as Fox, if, if y'all know, like, when Fox up B's into the ground and bounces uh, off of the floor, you don't get your jump back during that bounce. But if you just, like, land on the floor and touch down softly, then you're good. Spark taking that stock with the back air. It's was still up 2-1, though. This is the Queso of Midwest fame. Currently seen on the stream, edge guarding Spark, zoning him out a little too far away to make it back with the upbeat. Just the threat of that Pikachu edge guard is enough to scare Spark a little bit too far away to make it back. Okay, so taking the first game, giving the thumbs up, and a sip of water. Ready to get back into it. We'll see if, uh, if, if Spark is able to modify the game plan and make those adjustments in the same way that he was able to against AFAT in the previous set. Oh, I love it. It's the 2007 combo. Oh. Ending it early with the up air juggles. Uh, one more of those, like, down airs, and it could have just been a jab up smash zero to death. Queso needs to be able to DI out of those down airs, or he's just going to be taking so much damage from the 2007 stuff. I love it though. Just like, uh, Spark is doing such a good job of finding what works against each player that has come up against him. And like, he may not have the most experience in 64 or the best tech skill or the most developed punish game, but he's showing uh, an ability to just adjust and like develop a game plan mid set, which is so impressive. And the, the punish game is just getting better and better too. Look at all this damage. I get one more up air out of that. Not quite able to do it. Forward throwing Fox off of the stage. Okay, so not able to catch the edge guard. Spark drifting back to the ledge. Jab off smash gets the weak hit. Oh, and he does a, he does a reverse aerial rush. <laughs> Which is a, a Fox exclusive check in this game. For those of you who don't know. Just the raw back air. <laughs> Spark, after dropping the first game, is now up four stocks to two on Queso here. K 
Queso has got to figure out a way in on this Fox. That's a great way to do it. Getting hit by the short hop rising forward air. Look at these shine stalls from Spark. It goes for an extra one that was not needed. Uh, accidentally canceling the double jump. Now getting grabbed by Pikachu. Queso going for a dash attack tech chase. Finding the grab. A little bit aggressive going off the stage here. This is a great position to be in. Early up B. Keeping the combo going. Probably wanted a short hop there, but look at that. Just continuing these follow-ups. Hitting him out of his failed uh, up tilt, down tilt sequence, or up tilt, down tilt sequence. Up tilt, back air. Going to do it. Okay, so evening the stock count. Two to two. Look at the patience from both players here. Okay, so it's like, come get me. I'm on the side plot. And Spark's like, nah. But finally, uh, after about 10 seconds, Spark was like, eh, okay, and dies for it. That's the classic. Whoever waits longer wins. Welcome to Smash 64. Okay, Spark not teching and actually uh, messing Queso up a bit there. But only one more stock is needed for Queso in order to close out this set. Spark gonna get the double jab up smash. It's going to kill, of course. One stock left to take for him. Can Queso clutch up and prevent Spark from taking this to a game three? Or will this crazy neutral Fox manage to make another comeback? What is happening? No, Spark accidentally falls off the stage. Was just not in full control of his air drift there. And Kind of giving it away to Queso for free on that one. We got another person stepping up.